Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Harry Muppet. Welcome back to another StarCraft 2 Daily Masters. Got an awesome, awesome game for you here today. Let's introduce the players up the top right side of the map. It is going to be Mr. Serral, who I believe we have not cast a single game for in the history of my channel, which is very, very unfortunate, but great to be seeing him for the first time. He is 16 years of age, from Finland, plays for the MY Insanity team. And 16 years of age, that's why we haven't seen him before, man. He is young as, man. One of those young gamers. Absolutely awesome. And his opponent is, of course, Mr. Happy. We have definitely seen this guy before. He is Mr. Happy. 23 years of age, from Russia. Plays for Team... No, he is, used to play for... He's played for Team Empire for ages. October last year, he is no longer... As of October last year, he's no longer part of that team. And is now currently teamless, so he is no longer happy, happy about being in a team because he's no longer part of a team. So that will not be the last time I make that joke in this game. So if you are cringing now, just remember that, you know, the internet, you know, it's free enterprise. So if you don't want to watch it, you don't have to watch it. I'm not saying you shouldn't watch it because everybody on the planet should watch my channel, but... If, yeah, um, there is good stuff coming, so just, may, just sort of, yeah, just deal with the lame jokes, and everything will work out fine in the end. So, we've got a beautiful factory coming up, and Happy Fac, is it Happy Factory? No, that's stupid. Alright, we're not going to be calling it the Happy Fac. Um, <laughs> we are going to be, yeah, it should just be Hellions coming out. Maybe something else. Who knows, but should be some awesome stuff. Couple of Reapers coming out. Having a good old happy go at the Queen and the Lings. Is, yeah, looking pretty good. He's, he's got to be pretty happy with uh, the work that those Reapers have done so far. And Serral, yeah, it's finally going to be chasing them away. This Queen going nuts. Absolutely nuts. Even pulling some workers off. He is obviously not happy with the amount of harassment that these reapers are getting on this base and they have done a pretty good job i mean five lings and one worker that's definitely something that those reapers can be happy about so yeah not not bad so far and ooh, we've actually got a capped here did we lose an overlord at some point no how the hell i think oh he must have double built gas here and then um build more workers or something like that Really, usually you don't see that game um, sort of trick until you know. So usually you don't see that trick later on in the game. But obviously, Cyril going for it, trying to get that little extra bit of macro going, and he's looking pretty good, you know, getting that lead. Um, yeah, Happy's is pretty good. He's pretty good at the moment. I just realized I can make happy jokes, but if I say happy is not happy about something, it sounds really, really retarded. So we're not going to say that, but we will be continuing to insert happy jokes into the rest of the game, as requested by you guys, the fans. If some of you don't remember requesting me to make lane jokes for the entire game, it wasn't you, it was that other guy watching the video who said, yeah, go for it, Harry Muppet. I love it when you make lame jokes. More, please. So just blame them and yeah, whatever. Whatever, nothing can stop the lame jokes train. It has left the station, it is running at high speed and there is no stopping it because somebody took out the brakes. <laughs> and yeah, all I can say is that, I don't know. I don't know what I can say at this point, except those Hellions trying to hit the hatchery never works. Absolutely never works. You cannot kill structures with a bunch of Hellions, man. It's just anybody could tell you that. It's just, it's just not a happy situation for the Hellions to be in trying to destroy a hatchery. It just doesn't work out. He's got more Hellions coming in. Do we have an armory, though? That's the interesting question. We do not, but we do have two more factories coming out, so maybe thinking about some tanks. Going in in force, four queens going to be scaring away. Ten Hellions versus four queens. Not going to work out that well. But the Banshees up on the base, there is a Spore Crawler, but they can be happy just sort of sitting at the edges, sniping some workers. I think that will work quite well. Did they just snipe that Queen? That Queen just exploded into like a million pieces right there. 
Ouch, man. Cyril is not going to be happy about losing that queen right there. Absolutely not, but Bailey's going in, doing a pretty good job. The queen does go down, and the Hellions doing a very, very, very nice job here. The Banshee's still going nuts here. Absolutely crazy amount of work is going down. I mean, anybody has got to be happy with just the sheer amount of worker damage that those Banshees did. 19 workers have gone down. And Serral, man, he is going to be a very, very unhappy guy at this point of the game because there's just so much damage being done. 19 workers, 34 lings. I have starting to have the feeling that Happy is just better at this point. He's just better at doing stuff. His harassment is really nice. The fact that he went in there with Hellions and did so much good work is great. The Banshee's coming in, trying to hit this base out, doing a pretty good job. Workers all over the place. Cell is like, oh my god, how did this many Banshees get onto the friggin' game? I haven't even got air tech yet. He's trying to get some sport colors, but there's nothing over here. The Queens are coming back, and he just sort of, you know, clovers himself up. Whatever that word is, I can't remember. Cloaks himself up, and gets the hell out of there. Bunch of Lings going in, but they are not going to be happy at the state of the gate here. It is just way too tightened up. And you thought I had stopped, didn't you? You were like sighing in relief. It's like, it's been like a full minute since he's made a happy joke. Just when you thought it was over, they, they just keep coming, man. The train just keeps on going. But very, very nice stuff here. Cyril, he's pushing back. He's gonna try and push back, but he's got barely any lead at the moment. Um, where's, his active forces are down really, really low as well. He's got a lot of this stuff going on. He's lost a ton of workers. We're just going to keep going onto that screen over and over again because it's just like, damn, he lost so many workers. He's lost the third base. Happy's got his own third base out. Got to be happy about that. Happy is just going to be generally, absolutely, incredibly just, you know, he's got to be feeling good about the state of this game so far. He's just, he's just, he's just so, you know, he's, you know, is ecstatic, I think, about the state that this game is in so far. It's really giving him a lot of positive emotional feelings, I feel like. Um, not sure if there's any other way I could describe it. I'm sure something will come to me, though, at some point. Cyril going for the fourth base, going for the spire. He's really pushing out nice and hard. He's been getting a lot of work as he has bumped up his lead again. But the Hellions are coming back and... Man, he's going to see them, and you know that Cyril is not going to be happy about these guys rolling in once again. At least they don't have blue flames, but blue flames starting to come out. Oh, the Hellbats! He is definitely not going to be happy about that. That queen died in one shot. The Hellbats going nuts. All of the links starting to go down. Everything being destroyed, and the mute has finally come down, so he's going to have to run away, try and get some speed, but it doesn't work out. I would have liked to see him turn around and just start roasting those queens instead of trying to morph back to Hellions because there was no way those guys were ever going to get away. So he might as well just started roasting queens or something like that instead of chasing the workers. But in the end, I mean, sometimes things just don't work out and you just have to be happy with whatever you can get done and just sort of go with it. And I mean, happy, you know, he's feeling pretty good about all those workers he killed. And Cyril, you know, he's, he's happy about the fact that he killed all of those Hellbats and didn't lose too many workers. So everybody's just going to be happy with what they can get away with and what happens here. So we got a bunch of Hellions coming in. Beautiful timing on the workers. Excellent, excellent done. A couple of links going through, but that is not going to work out. It's always great to get the timing perfectly done. You get in when the workers are there, but before the Queens manage to get over there. And that is the absolute perfect timing there. And Happy made it once again, so he's really, really playing at the top of his game. He's really, really got something to be happy about when he looks back at this game and says, yeah, I did an excellent, excellent job here. Look at this beautiful sort of wall there. No Bailey's going to be running into the mineral line anytime soon. Missile turret getting out there. They do manage to snipe that missile turret, but they do get shot a few times as well. The Thors are here. And nothing could make the Mutas less happy than a bunch of Thors just running up that ramp, just, well not running, just sort of stalking up that ramp towards them. Oh, a bunch of Banshees, he's still building so many Banshees, he's still building a Banshee, man. He has gone for a heavy, heavy, heavy mech at the moment, and the Banshees, of course, are a very, very strong, aggressive unit in the mech army. They're great at destroying 
creep tubers. I mean, okay, he's great at destroying a lot of stuff. And he's got the thoughts for the muters, he's got the tanks and the hellbats to deal with any sort of ling aggression. And yeah, those banshees are going to be able to destroy buildings really, really fast. Any uh, queens, very, very fast. Banshees are great queen killers. Look at the muters, man. He's got so many muters, and the Thors are like, oh man, this is not looking good. They're still doing an exceptional job, though, although two Thors are down. Three Thors are down. The fourth Thor going down. That's not good at all. And the Hellbat's getting in there. And Serval, even though he's got units all over the place, he has got to be feeling happy about the defense that he just fell back. I mean, he killed a whole bunch of Thors. He's. He's not going to be happy about losing workers though, and he's definitely lost a fair amount of workers. He's down to 49 workers lost. There's guys over there, there's guys over there. Banshees everywhere, they're just scattered and gone nuts. Absolutely everywhere. And just doing a crazy amount of damage in every direction. There's no spore crawler over here. He needs to get a lot more overseers on the map. Did he? I don't think he's, he's got one overseer, but definitely needs a couple more at this point. These guys going in there, a bunch of workers and a bunch of hellbats getting in there look at all the expansions but they're not really doing all that much at the moment what do we got for income 80 over 43 uh it's just absolutely crazy how this game is going happy he's just pushing so far ahead doing so many good things and he's on top of his game right now he's really really on top of his game and Cyril is just playing uphill i think against a player who's just more skilled than he is and he's giving it his best and I guess in the end that's all you can do is just give your best and if you sit back at the end of the game and say I gave my best then that is something that you can definitely be happy about so that's going to be that as well but I don't think there's much chance of Serral winning this game unfortunately which yeah you know what you, you have to be happy for what you can accomplish and He's actually built a crap load of mutas, so maybe it's not all over. His macro is down the toilet, but the muta numbers are very high. Oh, triple missile turret. Ouch. Ouch, that hurt. Ouch. That's like a great wall of missile turrets stretching from up here in uh, Mongolia to down here in uh, Hong Kong. Did the great wall go from Mongolia to Hong Kong? Did it? I don't think it did. I am such a noob when it comes to geography. I don't know where the Great Wall even went. But this is this is pretty much a Great Wall. Look at that. That thing goes freaking forever. Needs like one here and then it would be a Great Wall of Missile Turrets. But for now, it's doing a pretty good job. That's a lot of muters. Two armor as well. So they've definitely been surviving Thor hits quite well. The weapons are starting to come out as well, which is pretty good. Is he building workers? That's the question. He's building a bit. Uh, there we go, eight more, so he's starting to get back into it, and he does have a ton of bases, although Happy continuing to harass them as much as he can, which is quite often, to be honest. There, the Changeling going down, and he's got to be very, very happy that he spotted that Changeling before he got a chance to get in there. Oh, sacking the workers. Happy going nuts, man, absolutely nuts. He must really, really just want to be building a crap ton of units. Interesting he's sacking workers because he hasn't banked up a lot. Usually when you're sacking workers you've banked up a lot. So if the craziness starts going against the wall then you've sort of got something to fall back on. But no, he's throwing away workers and he's not got a ton of stuff going on here. Oh damn, two hits from one of these Hellions and these guys do go down. There we go, roasting the queen, roasting the workers. Workers continuing to die in staggering numbers. Maybe not that staggering, but they're 121 workers down from Mr. Serral. Oh man. He's not going to be happy about that at all. Just when you think you can get back into the game, you look at the units lost and you realize you've lost over 100 workers. And you're just like, you bastard! You bastard. Cyril is the un most unhappy person in the entire world at the moment. Which is... It's so ironic, it's not even funny. But... Yeah, look at these Hellions. The Hellions just like, shoo fly, go away, stop bothering me. I want to kill some workers. Finally do go down. And it's great, because not only is he wasting workers, but these muters. Oh, look at the missile turrets. So many, and there's a couple of Thors here. Oh man, so many muters, so many missile turrets. 
So much carnage going on here. The Thor's going down. The missile turrets taking an obscene amount of damage from all the missile turrets. He runs in. He kills a couple of Thors. And then he runs away. And he's lost so much in that battle. That was just... Oh, man. So many missile turrets. So much craziness. I think he's just going to finish it off on four bases. He's, I don't think he's going to have to get any more than that. And just continually moving out. Is he going to be moving out and actually attacking here? I'm not sure. The problem with moving out with this many Thors is he's really built a ton of Thors to deal with the mutants. But the problem with moving out with that many Thors is if the opponent decides to go for a crap load of Lings. Lings are cheap. You get a crap load of them really, really fast. And they own Thors pretty much. They would do a lot of damage to these Thors if there were enough of them. Which would suck, definitely. But it looks like Happy is confident enough with moving out. Oh, point defense drone, very, very nice. Couple of Reaper bombs going in. Oh, the Muters. Those Muters actually ran out of on top of the Thor, so very, very nice stuff. And Cyril is going to be very, very happy that he managed to dodge those Raven bombs. And he's trying to go over the top of the Thor numbers, but I think there's just too many Thors. Look at all these Thors down the bottom, doing so much damage. The Muters are all going down. And, oh man. He's got to be happy that he finally destroyed those mutant numbers. And he's got to be happy that he finally won that game. Because Cyril definitely didn't make it easy for him. But in the end, the game was won. And happy was victorious. And potentially quite happy as well. Let's just say. So that is it. Thank you very much for uh, watching the game. Those of you who are still watching it. Who have not just covered your ears with one hand like I'm doing at the moment with one hand over one ear and the other ear sort of squeezed up against your elbow and trying desperately to uh, end the game with your other hand maybe if your left hand if your right hand just sort of jerked up to your ears when you started hearing the happy jokes coming out but for those of you who didn't cringe and cry and close the browser straight away I just want to say I'm never going to stop making the happy jokes as long as happy keeps casting, okay? It's going to happen. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this game. And maybe we'll tone it down a little bit because this game was quite a lot. But then again, you know, it's all fun. As, you know, as long as everybody's happy with the situation and, you know, happy with the way I'm casting and happy with the gameplay, happy with the skill levels and happy with the general sort of commentating that I'm doing, then I'm happy to keep making all of these lame jokes, and yeah, we'll just see how it goes in the future, so I'll catch you guys later, this has been Harry Muppet, I hope you enjoyed this game, happy, happy, happy!